Have you ever stopped to consider how the images you surround yourself with influence your behavior and mindset? Every day, we encounter a myriad of visual stimuli that subtly shape our thoughts, feelings, and actions. In the realm of spirituality, this concept holds profound significance, as exemplified by the revered mystic Ramakrishna. He once shared with his devotees an intriguing perspective on the power of pictures, reminding us of the often overlooked yet potent influence they wield. As Ramakrishna once cautioned, even pictures may prove harmful. One day, Ramakrishna was glancing through the pictures in his room when his devotees entered. He was surrounded by images of divine figures and saints, to his left, a picture of Sarasvati. Beyond it, an image of Gaur and Nitai singing kirtan with their devotees. In front, pictures of Dhruva, Pralada, and Mother Kali. And on his right, another image of the Divine Mother, Rajarajesvari. Behind him, a picture of Jesus Christ saving the drowning Peter. He said, you see, it is good to keep pictures of sannyasis and holy men in one's room. When you get up in the morning, you should see the faces of holy persons rather than the faces of others. People with rajasic qualities keep pictures of rich men, the king, the queen, the prince of Wales, and white men and women walking together. That shows their rajasic temperament. You acquire the nature of the people whose company you keep. Therefore, even pictures may prove harmful. Again, a man seeks the company that agrees with his own nature. The Paramahamsas keep near them a few young boys five or six years old. They allow such boys to be near them. Attaining the state of a Paramahamsa, a man loves the company of boys. Like the Paramahamsas, these boys are not under the control of the Gunas, Sattva, Rajas, or Tamas. But what is the scientific relevance of Ramakrishna's cautionary advice? Well, research in psychology has shown that environmental cues like pictures can significantly impact our mood, cognition, and behavior. For instance, images of serene scenes or nature can reduce stress levels and improve cognitive function. Moreover, there's a phenomenon known as observational learning or modeling. Essentially, we tend to emulate behaviors and characteristics of those we admire or see regularly. This can shape our personality traits, values, and attitudes over time. Studies have also shown that exposure to materialistic messages can increase materialistic values and desires, leading to dissatisfaction and psychological distress. Therefore, it is important to be mindful of the images we surround ourselves with, as they can shape our behavior, values, and attitudes. So beware which kind of pictures you have, so that your temperament could also be the same. Self-check and analyze yourself which gunna is dominating in you, and if you want to progress in the spiritual path, Ramakrishna has guided us, as sannyasis and holy men, pictures are preferable. So do you have any of these above, don't hesitate to reply. Seeing one the other could also inspire, so we all can grow as a spiritual family together. We have Sai Baba, Ramakrishna, Krishna, Buddha Ganeshan hours, now it's your turn.